Hey, Facebook, Jason Dukes, captain's chair coach, and probably wearing the same shirt I wore uh, my last video. That happens. Uh, either way, uh, here with Visual Visualusionary, which again is visionary and revolutionary, uh, Carrie Martin from Second Life Bikes here in Asbury Park. Hey, Carrie. Hi. Um, I always wear the same clothes. Oh, I do, I do too. That's, that's, that's the bad thing about doing the live videos is then people start to realize, they're like, oh, that's what you wore the last time. But uh -huh. um, again, my, my purpose is to help people find their gift, give their gift to the world. And I do uh, interviews with people who are visionaries and revolutionaries. And um, this actually, this has been a, a video that I've wanted to do for about a year, <laughs> really. Uh, my office used to be right upstairs there in a co-working space that overlooks a bike shop, which is, you know, probably the most extreme Asbury Park thing that you can do. Uh, but I wanted Carrie to tell her story because, um, you know, we'll, we'll get into it some. And, and Carrie created a, a business here and, you know, which is great because it both serves the community and as a business and serves uh, her passion and the passion of, of a lot of people here and uh, in town. So um, we'll just start out by, yeah. you know, like <laughs> what's what's the story of how did how did Second Life, well, forget about how to get here because I know a little bit of the story. Like how did it first even begin? Yeah, it's a tough question because I'm trying to think like, oh, is it a long version, is it a short version? But I'll try and tell at least like one version of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I was living in New York City working for Recycle a Bicycle, which is a similar organization to this, but kind of was growing weary of city life. And I'm from Freehold, so new stuff was happening down here in Monmouth County. And we worked my way down here thinking I wanted to be, you know, more in a close-knit community, you know, less of a big city. So I moved down here and worked for other people's bike shops, which... It's also not a bad gig, but it does sometimes get a, l a little, well, I should say I did love, because of working recycled bikes, I loved old bikes and working with communities and working with kids. Um, so in my spare time, I found a church space over on 2nd mm -hmm. Avenue. Father Bill said, sure, you can use this space if you clear it out. And just on Mondays on my days off, I just had tools and bikes and kids kind of came and we, you know, we taught them how to fix the bike. So just really like organic sort of thing it wasn't my paying job yet <laughs> um but then i just saw, saw the need that you know working at a bike shop you know for bikes for people to buy recycled bikes or fix their bike with um, recycled parts um so i imagined this but i also didn't know if it could exist in a small town so to say like right, Asbury right. Park, because things organizations like this exist or bike shops but they're you they had been more in big cities or college towns so I didn't know whether it could survive um, as my main career or if I wanted it to, too. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> that if you're just because you like bikes, um, <laughs> doesn't mean that's what you should be doing every day. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, two kind of fears. But then also just took the plunge and quit my job and said, I'm going to see. You know, Asbury Park, especially in, you know, 2005, 2006, was like a blank canvas, like... Oh, you want to do something here? Um, let's make it happen. I mean, it still is, but um, I feel like it was maybe even easier back in the day of just like finding an empty space. Um, so yeah, I quit my job and then started, um, it had been called the Bike Church when it was just like a one day a week, like, you know, youth program and um, decided to rename it Second Life Bikes. And what it is now is a youth earn a bike uh, program and community bike shop. So. What happens here on a daily basis is that we are a bike shop, so people can come in here and buy a bike and get their bike repaired um, and buy, you know, a lock or something like that. So kind of normal bike shop activities. But what makes us a little different is that we have uh, been... Oh, wait, a little different or <laughs> a lot different? Uh, a lot. <laughs> um, to other shops is more of the community interactiveness of it. So we have bins of parts people can look through. We have tools people can use. Uh, youth ages 12 to 18 can come here after school and work hours to earn a bike. Um, or, you know, they're excited they're getting a bike after 15 hours, but they're also getting, you know, job and life skills. And we also have kids, we work with different schools. So right now we have a couple of different kids here on different intern programs. So again, not that I hope all these kids go off and start a bike shop or become a bike mechanic, but hoping that they're getting job and life skills that like bring them out into the real world. Yeah, well, and they have something amazing to do. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just share some stories of, again, my office was right upstairs, so I kind of had like a full year cycle of 
being, you know, being here uh, in, in the area. And, you know, like, I'd come in one day and it'd be like, oh, this is the annual bike giveaway. And it's like, <laughs> who does that? Like, what do you mean the annual bike giveaway? And then, you know, like, some days it would be like, you know, oh, like, who are these kids? And it's like, oh, that's the, that, you know, the middle school, high school kid program. And it's like, who does that? Like, that's amazing. Like, you know, like, what what brought that on? Like, what 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 created this, this really close community between you and the community and because yeah. I mean it could just be a for-profit bike shop where you right just... yeah uh I mean a couple things so we do get bikes donated to us so we do have the spirit of you know that these bikes are they all being sold I mean there is a business aspect to it because that is how we pay the rent and the taxes and the salaries but also keeping in mind that those bikes could be going to someone going from their day job to their night job um I guess also, yeah, I mean, like at Christmas time, little kids' bikes multiply in here. So there's, you know, a, so many. And there's also a lot of people that like to help, you know, o over the course of the year, but they don't necessarily get here. So dedicating uh, every Wednesday night in December to people that want to come down to help. So it all you know, just kind of works out. I think, too, the thing that we have, I'd say, going for us that makes it just like a popular place is bikes are just... I want to say like everybody likes bikes. I mean, mm -hmm. from whether you're a little kid or a senior citizen or any age or gender or in income that people want or need bikes. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a lot of things you can tie bikes into. Like we have some healthy eating events here um, where people learn nutrition and how to fuel your body. We've had bicycle inspired art shows. Um, so there's a lot of, we've had a flea market in here for all kinds of bike lovers. So there's so many different things you can, um, you can do with bikes and bike rides. And we have, um, we are, I'm a team director of a mountain bike teams and not directly associated with second line bikes, but, in, but kind of that we have um, kids from the county um, can join our mountain bike team and we take them out to a lair. Yeah. So. Well, I, I mean, I specifically wanted you to share those stories just because it's inspiring. I mean, there was, you know, I'd probably pick the video as a time to say this, but yeah, like some days I would stand up there and just like look down and like almost want to cry because it's like, <laughs> who does this? Like, who has a bike shop where like, you know, for the holidays, kids could, kids could come in and like pick a bike. Yeah, you yeah, know, or, and the spirit of it too, just like free bikes, like doesn't matter. Like you don't have to sign up for it. You don't have to jump through hurdles to get it. Just kind of every year we just are prepared for it and mm -hmm. just do it. So it is... Um, yeah, I always say it's ne never boring in here. Right, right. <laughs> it's always something, whether it's the bikes being donated or the people that come in for bikes or the kids or, I mean, just Asbury Park has a lot of character. So it, it also is the, <laughs> the perfect place to, to have it, too. Yeah, it really yeah. is. really is perfect place, perfect person. What would you say for anyone out there? Because, again, as I said beforehand, and, and you know, you probably have advice on, on both sides of it, but I run across a lot of people who, like, they're career problem whatever is this their interest they're like oh i like race cars and i like uh -huh. helping kids and this but i don't know what to do so i'm just gonna like do this thing and it's like wait but like i know all these people in asbury park who just they were like oh i like those things so i you know i just created this thing right um what would you say to the people out there because because most of the people who are going to watch this are you know entrepreneurial but a little bit stuck yeah i mean it's not easy i love when people come in here and say oh well you you're working you're doing you 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 created your dream jobs so when you have your dream job you don't work a day in your life and i'm kind of like are you kidding me <laughs> like, i'm exhausted right now um so sometimes i mean it is funny i mean i did have a corporate desk job at some point in my life and sometimes when I hear people like you said like you know people that are accountants and they don't um, they want to do something else but sometimes I'm like wow like they <laughs> right, have right, like right, right. a yeah, job that they just go to and their desk is there right. or sometimes I come in here and it's just it can be exhausting so I don't know sometimes I feel like I advise people like well if you have a job that it's a job and you still have time in your life um, to do other things that you like, that that's not necessarily a bad situation to be in. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, like, making something happen in your dream just can be hard. And I don't want to say you could end up, like, hating bikes or hating race cars or cars. But um, it is, like, yeah, still a job. Yeah. And even, even the, you know, a, pl a industry like the bike business, although, you know, like I said, everyone kind of wants to use bike the bike business in general, 
you know, is being hurt. Brick and, brick and mortar businesses are just being hurt by the internet or Walmart or whatever it is. So it, it's not necessarily easy. Right. Right. Um, so sometimes keeping your regular job. <laughs> yeah, may, may not be may not be a bad thing. Uh, um, or I always say like don't um uh, you know don't sit there and try and like make it happen at your kitchen table. Like definitely like coming to a community like Asbury Park and just talking about it and meeting people because just starting from scratch in, in your little like little world. I feel like it is about like talking to people and meeting people and sharing space or something like that. Not trying to like dream this all up in, in one shot right right yeah it didn't start here right and, and it, it was um, it was like my i had a job it was my heavy hobby then it was like you know the beginnings of it and now it's this there's a potential there could be other locations or just doing other things here or more staff members or different i could you know take on different roles here too if i was like a f fix and flat tire so that is the beauty too but at this point down the road it's not only me and i can um you know go off and do other things related to second life bikes so right, it's nice right. to be in that position too to have like a steady you know staff behind you um, yeah any special story that you want to tell about either an employee a student a anything that's that's happened here yeah that's kind of tough i mean it is it is kind of cool seeing people come through here and uh, like donated bikes you know our favorite is like you know mom and dad come in with a little bike and they said oh that was junior's bike and now junior's you know off at med school or something <laughs> like this. but bikes do have such like a people do feel attached to their bikes so it is kind of cool hearing the stories and then seeing them go on to their new owners and i mean I think the kids are really kind of proud to to like work here so to say especially like that 12 13 year old yeah. crowd like they stand outside and they say i have a job here you should go ask her for a job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, one time there was a bunch of kids outside and they couldn't get a rusty axle nut off the, the, the bag and they wanted to spray WD-40 all over it or something. And I went out there in the middle of all these kids and just used a wrench and just got it off. And I think I got a lot of street cred that day. Because <laughs> um, that it's also just showing like problem solving, like spraying WD-40 on this axle nut wasn't going to just like pop it off. Like you just have to, you know, get the right tool and the right, right. leverage and just get it done. So I think they were like, wow, I yeah. kids still talk about that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, um, and just how do people? I mean, I guess most most of the people in Asbury Park know about it, know how to get involved. But there's, I oh, you know, and you know that is another thing too. I think I've gotten so comfortable thinking people know mm. about it, and I do have to be careful with that because there's so many new people in Asbury. I mean, Asbury they might know about it, but I always have to be careful. You know, people, you know, five ten miles radius that sometimes like oh, I've never heard of that. I'm like what <laughs> yeah. or, or they may not know the, the scope of it like right you know, i mean most people probably yeah. walk go by and just think like oh it's just like a summer beach cruiser right. bike shop and not not get the impact that it actually has yeah on the sometimes i like that it's kind of like you, you have to like figure it out or know i always say it's like a speakeasy because there's no yeah. sign outside so sometimes i do like that um people have to discover it too because they're really like an awe when they walk in and, and see what happens in here so yeah well, how do people get involved, or or what is it that yeah? How do how do yeah, people help? Yeah, I mean, always like you know, donating old bikes, volunteering here, coming to buy a bike, telling your friends. Those are kind of the basics, or coming to me. You know, I always say like it is hard to put people like even volunteers um to work, but sometimes like what are your skills? Meaning like if I meet someone, it's not necessarily I need the person here. You know, wiping down bikes, but maybe they have you know graphic design skills or organizational skills. So I'm always um putting it to the question to them too, as right. far as like, well, how could you help us? <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, if you're looking for some place to help or do something, Second Life Bikes here. Uh, and Asbury Park is a place. Be inspired by uh, revolution. Re, re, I oh, forgot revolution. the revolution. Are you I trying to do a pun? I, I forgot the <laughs> yes. It's visual, visualisionary. Revolutionary. There, there it is. I, I think I even messed up the uh, the hashtag. And there's a coffee shop in the back now. Yeah, and too, a coffee shop so. too. So visionary, revolutionary, uh, Carrie Martin. Hip. Hip, right? Yeah. I don't know. Hip. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Carrie Martin here at okay. uh, at Second Life Bike. So. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be inspired and create your dreams. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>